Billy again. How are you okay? Is there a reason you're not saying anything? Mm, okay, well, let, let's look in the book. Oh, I see. You want to create a channel, but you don't know how to get started. Yeah, can be tough. I've heard this all across the board. It's been quite common nowadays, but here, maybe I can assist you with some of my great help. are you here welcome back to a brand new youtube video today as you can tell from the title this is episode two of a creator's hardships and also an episode just about the confusion or the fear of starting your own youtube channel and how to push through that before we hop into the video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also also and also hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss a video that I ever post. Starting a YouTube channel, not easy. And it's gonna take a lot of mental fight. So let's go ahead and get into this nice, huge pep talk for you guys. My uncle is actually a director and an entrepreneur for just all across the board film and production. He was who got me started into YouTube. So, you know, not everyone has that <laughs> just lying around. Also, I started YouTube when I was really, really young. I mean, the first time I was on YouTube, I was like two years old. Hey, Will. How, Hi. You, how you doing? Good. <laughs> I grew up on this app. <laughs> I really actually started creating my own content when I was like seven years old and that was the whole Zarya's dream skit and me and my uncle were just bored one day during spring break and he was like hey let's film something and I was like "Ooh, this looks fun it was very um, heavily influenced by another person on the way I started my YouTube channel but not everyone has that and most people are just on their own no people to really help them with their phone if you're in this situation the first thing that you should do is get an idea. I talked in my last video and the last episode of A Creator's Hardships on Creator's Block. But considering you have no videos for your YouTube channel, there should be no reason to why you have Creator's Block. There is something you can have that a lot of beginner YouTubers might have and that is, well, what video should I start off with? What idea will catch people's eyes what i have to say to that is just do what you want to do because you are at the legit beginning you have nothing to lose so literally do whatever you want whatever you're passionate with because the thing is since you have not started yet you have no expectations to really fulfill that comes with a lot of benefits right now whatever you put out right now whatever you're passionate about the people who subscribe to you they will like that you and your fans will have a common interest and a common ground on the things that you like you are starting from ground zero and you want your fan base to be around things that you like. Don't worry about creator's block yet. That won't come until like the fifth video or maybe not. It won't come until quite a while to be quite honest because you just started, okay? Don't worry about scheduling yet. However, do post quite consistently. Don't post like a month in between video one and video two and a year between video two and video three and maybe seven months between video three and video four. You can just post however much you want at first because at this point, all you're trying to do is just get in the zone of how to film, how to edit, explore YouTube studio. A lot of people as well also think about how they need a lot of equipment and they need all of this equipment to start off. I didn't get Final Cut Pro until I was 14 and I had this YouTube channel since I was seven. I was in other like film clubs and stuff like that in school as well. It wasn't just my YouTube channel that was being filmed on. So a lot of experience before I got a three 
$300 app. Don't think that you need anything like that. To be honest, you don't even need a camera. A tripod would be kind of nice. But I don't really think you need a tripod if you're doing like a vlog or something. You don't need a light. Technically, all of those things would make your video be more nice. But at the same time, what's the point of having a piece of equipment that you don't know how to use? If you don't know how to use something and you're trying to use it, it's either one going to take you forever to learn how to use it and therefore forever to make your video or two is just going to make your video look even worse. All you need to start off with, I would say, would be a phone and a tripod. For your light, you can use the sunlight. That's what I did. I mean, it looks great. Just film at the right time. Yes, you might have a lot of people ahead of you. Don't lose hope because of other people. You're thinking about, well, will they like it? Who knows if you don't create it? I would also say with your first video, don't just do something that's like a, a video that you don't care about. Don't do like a never have I ever video and you hate the game, never have I ever. And you're just doing it because people like it. You know, like make sure if you're gonna do a never have I ever video, you actually like the game. Cause then you're just being fake to your audience. And that's probably one of the worst things you can do. I've gone on rambling a lot this video. Um, but definitely what I would say to start off with first is pick up your camera right now. Right now. Okay, pick it up. Look at your phone. Open open up the camera app. Okay? Go to video. Okay, you went to video. Okay, cool. Okay. Now look into the camera and be like, that's what my next video is gonna be filmed on. That's what my first video is gonna be filmed on. That right there that you're looking at right now, that's what your first video is gonna be filmed on. And you're gonna film it very soon. You're not gonna stall anymore. You're not gonna be like, oh, well, what if people don't like it? I don't even know what to do. Well, I just like gave you a whole bunch of advice. So you should know what to do by now, which is literally have fun. You're gonna like doing it because you've been wanting to do this forever. So why are you waiting? If you have nothing to do, get up and film a YouTube video. It's, it's not that deep. Okay, you might not have any equipment. Heck, you might not even have a tripod. Prop it up on the desk or something and get to filming. With all that being said, you have the equipment you need. If you have a dream video, you really wanna film that, well, pause on that for a second. Of course, if you want to. Just go for something a few notches down. The video wouldn't be as good as if you were to film it in like a year from now, you know, cause you wouldn't really have the experience and a year will go by so fast. If any of you guys need help filming a video or if any of you guys are just starting, please, please, please don't be afraid to comment down below. I am more than willing to help everybody rise um, because I want to rise as well and I want you guys to rise with me. The possibilities are endless. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in to um, my little TED talk, pep talk video and also second episode of A Creator's Hardships. If you like the video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video that I ever post. I also have merchandise. Make sure to check that out. That'll be on my website and the description box below. It'll be the first thing that you see. But with all that being said, get to filming and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.